And now the story of an actor who puts his talents to work for spreading the good news. Noted actor Frank Runyon, perhaps best known for his role years ago as Steve Andropoulos, playing opposite Meg Ryan on As the World Turns, is also an acclaimed translator and performer of biblical texts. Runyon has performed the gospel for hundreds of thousands of people in almost every U.S. state. Recently, he brought the Gospel of Luke to life at St. Patrick's Parish in Springfield. Peggy Weber checks back in with this story, telling us how the performance inspired and helped create community. It had to organize the whole story of the event. Actor Frank Runyon played multiple roles at St. Patrick's Church in Springfield as he told stories from the Gospel of Luke to more than 300 people. The 90-minute performance focused on stories of mercy as Frank educated and enlightened his audience. A graduate of Princeton University, he has an impressive resume as an actor on television and the theater. He also holds a master's degree from the General Theological Seminary in New York. He told his audience that many of the stories of Luke don't have an ending because we are the ending. Jesus is still in the room with us. He focused on several stories, including the Good Samaritan, the Prodigal Son, and Zacchaeus. Well, I think the reason I started doing these stories is my kids uh, got to an age where they weren't understanding why we went to church and what the stories were about. And so it challenged me to learn more about it and, and, and be able to explain it to them. He concluded his talk with reflection on Hollywood versus faith. He said that in most Hollywood movies, God is put aside. Their job isn't to tell the truth about God. He also noticed that today people are barraged with commercials and told that buying things will make them happy. He said that people are in the middle of a tug of war with what they are told in church and what they are told by society. Now, I'm not telling people that there aren't fun stories to watch on TV. You know, that, that, that I don't even enjoy, I even can't even enjoy the commercials. I mean, there's wonderful, artistry and good work done by, by good artists that come out of the media and, and in other places, but we just you know, have to be careful not to believe in it too much. Frank said he battled cancer four years ago and that it reminded him to keep God at the center of his life. He said that the gospel stories also are needed more than ever in today's world. Because hard things happen in life. You know, my college roommate took his life and we had a couple of miscarriages. And, you know, and then you realize that that life can be tough, it asks hard questions, and so you need more deeply true stories. So I, I returned to these stories and found a way to tell them. Carrie Dowd, a member of St. Patrick's Parish and co-program manager of the event, said she was delighted with the event and Frank's performance. She said that it grew from the evangelization committee in the parish and that her faith means a lot to her. Anyone with children knows that as soon as you go out there, the world's harsh. It's really difficult raising children and having them be children of God and remain in the church and being part of this evangelization team has brought me closer to being active in my church and it sets a role model for my children. Carol Dalton, administrative assistant at St. Patrick's Parish and co-program manager, also praised the event. I thought he was wonderful. Um, I thought I had got the chills many times when he spoke and um, uh, I really made the Gospel of Luke come alive. Luke is one of my favorite Gospels anyway. Um, and uh, I learned some things that I didn't know before. She explained why the Parish Evangelization Committee invited Frank. I have something new and, and hear it in a different way. Um, to touch our hearts again and light that light and um, get that fire in us about our Lord. And Frank will continue to light the fire of faith as he performs all over the country with seven different plays. For Real to Real, I'm Peggy Weber.